Hi, so I wanted to talk to you guys about one, another one of my favorite artists. And once again, let me know if you know this artist or if his art means something to you or if you know a similar artist, like someone that makes you think of this guy's stuff. Anyways, so Sam Basma is incredible. His ideas are so cool and his artwork is so charming and beautiful. All the shapes and the design is just so cool. I can't describe it. It's just incredible. So here's his Twitter if you want to follow him. Uh, he has Gumroad, he has like uh, one really really good comic that I have on there. Um, also he's part of this, um, I guess it would be a manga, uh, like a comic called Fantasy Sports with a bunch of other cool artists too, so check that out. Um, also he has his Tumblr and Blogspot and um what else yeah his his own website and in print gallery and stuff like that so check out all his stuff if you're interested um anyways i want to show you guys a few of my favorite pieces and just talk about like how cool he is <laughs> so yeah um here we go this is one of my favorite pieces because it's so cool i just love the way he um just the his work has a lot of texture and the shape design i love it it's just really like really appealing and you just I want to look at it forever and like absorb it so it's really cool uh, he does a bunch of really cool characters I'll show you some other stuff soon actually wait why don't we just go through his really cool prints first so here's just something that's like I think Sam does a lot of images that like stick with the viewer because I feel like this is an image that just as soon as I saw it, it just stayed on my mind and like in my heart for a very long time because there's so much there's so much beauty and depth and like wonder inside a lot of his images and you just want to be there and you want to feel it and you want to I don't know like you just it makes you wish that you were a part of that world that he creates I feel like he does that really really well and really often and I don't know it's just something that a lot of I feel like we want as artists you know to to mark people like that and he really does it really well so I really like that a lot I love that he shows us his his fantasy worlds and with his designs and images and stuff so that's really cool his work is really really beautiful this is a really cool image with so much design and like just really cool like thought and design to it so I know I already said design but yeah I can't I don't know what to say it's just really great and this is another one that I've always loved. Um, there's a larger version too that you can find on the internet, but there's so much going on for you to look at. I love, in his, in a lot of his images, you just wanna look around and you wanna explore the image and it's really beautiful. You wanna look at all the little shapes, even the normal stuff like windows. I wanna look at all the windows and all the balconies and all the things. And then I wanna come down and look at the buses and the cars like they're all so different and interesting and like this guy's arm is coming out like he's angry and all these cool characters especially this one i love and this guy holding a pig and like there's just so much cool stuff he always like puts little things for viewers to to look at and wonder about another really beautiful image like it's so intense and cool and interesting and i find like he really knows how to how to make a mood with color and texture and like, you know, just the way that he designs everything. He really knows how to make a, a specific mood. And like, yeah, just his characters are so charming and you you want to get into their head and stuff and think about them. <laughs> Look at this little dog. Really cool. I love his line work and the way he does clothing and other stuff. Really cool. I don't think I've ever seen a character of his that like that I didn't think had more to them. You know, he really makes like dimensional characters. It's really cool. This is so cool. At, at the end, I'm gonna show something uh, with this that's going on that has been going on for a while and was finally completed. That was really cool. So yeah, and there's this one too. This is one of my favorites, and it's just because the shapes are so cool. I can stare at this forever, like all of the shapes inside this guy's face are incredibly cool to me. I just love it, it's so charming and you really feel like, like he's retaining himself in this rope and like everything going on here is so beautiful and cool and the shapes, I just can't get over the shapes in this image and the color, 
it's just beautiful. It's such a nice illustration. And there's a lot going on that makes you wonder, like, what is this? <laughs> what is the story? It's great. And this one too. So cool. He really makes these like fantasy situations that are really, really interesting. Love it. Um, and here's the archive on his Tumblr. If you want to do this to any Tumblr, you can just go to whatever Tumblr link you want and do slash archive. And then you can find a, a lot of the old posts that you might not see on the first few pages. Um, I do this a lot, but you also only see one image out of every single post. Like for example, I just clicked the mountain one and there might be more. Yeah, so there are more. So these are posts where um, maybe he didn't do every single image on here from start to finish, but he designs on, um, he's one of the people who designs on Steven Universe. And uh, another person is Elle Michelka. Her stuff is really amazing. And, and other people too, like Steven Sugar's stuff is amazing. I don't know Emily Wallace, but I'll check her out later. Anyway, so a bunch of really cool artists work on Steven, Steven Universe and did I say Steven? Sh I think I said Steven Universe, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so Sam Bosma is one of the people who works on it and who's, I'm gonna show you those later, but yeah, he's part of like why it looks so great. So because a bunch of people who have really good shape and color design are working on that show, so it's super appealing. Yeah, so I think he's one of the people who designs stuff, maybe like does the lines and layout maybe like suggest some colors. You never really know what amount of work someone's doing on a show because it's such a team effort, but you can really tell like that people's good tastes are going into it. So yeah, you can see just all this really beautiful stuff. Super nice. Like if you look at his stuff and if you look at this, you kind of see the the, th the common thread of like appealing shapes and colors and stuff. So anyways, here's some, um, wait, let's just close a few things. So those, are, those are some really cool, I think they were, I'm not sure they were for Inktober. I think he was just drawing random characters um, this summer or last summer. Yeah, I don't remember. Anyways, he made really, really, he makes such charming characters, like I said, and their costumes are always so interesting. And my favorite thing is that they look so... Um, tattered, they really look like adventurers who are adventuring. Um, I feel <laughs> like if I compare it to my stuff, um, I feel like I always make clean looking things or there's not enough interesting elements. So so when I look at Sam's stuff, I'm really inspired to like go further and um, make it look more rough and stuff. Also, I find that really funny because he, all, he often calls himself Blobsma or like here, um, his, his, uh, yeah, his um, blog spot is called, Where where's the name? I think it was called Blobsma somewhere, or is it here? The Tumblr? I don't remember. I feel like it said s slam, slam, yeah, okay, here. It's like in the, let's take it off, in the title here, on the top of the bar, it says slam blogsma, and I find that so freaking hilarious. <laughs> It's super funny. Like what a cool thing to do with your name. <laughs> Anyways, it just goes into like his uh, his online presence. It's really funny and interesting. Um, yeah, so let's look at more of his really cool characters. They're amazing. Um, yeah, just it's so cool. The lines and the design and the ink and like the, the shading and everything and the way you feel the characters like the characters person, you know, like who you feel who they are. It's really cool. Just love it so much. <laughs> I love these like just this costume and these like pants and and the scales here and the way they're fading there. It's really cool. His designs are so interesting. I love his shield. It's great. So cool. They're all really really charming and really great. This is amazing. <laughs> this is so cool. The shading. Yeah, I love that. The shapes are amazing so cool yeah so i just wanted to show you some of those um and also go on his big cartel shop please and buy these because i have this and this and this i'm probably going to get someday um oh i think it's his um his wife slash his wife or girlfriend i think they're married now but callie yeah her stuff is really really cool too so check out her stuff too anyway so this is sam's stuff i bought both of these um 
and they're really good. They're really, really good. I think I could... I mean, they're over there. I'm not going to go get them and show you, but, like, they're really, really cool. This hanging tower come... They're pretty small, by the way. Don't, don't like, expect anything, like, this big. They're kind of, like, pocket size, sort of size, and they're just really charming. They're beautifully printed. The paper is just, like, nice and textural, and just they're great. They're great things to have because they're well-made and the designs are really beautiful, like you see in the rest of his work. So it's really cool. Go ahead and get those if you're interested in his work. I wanted to show that at the end. Yeah, so there was these really cool prints that we talked about. Yeah, his stuff is so cool, so please go support him if you're interested. His work is just fascinating and really, really thoughtful and beautiful and fantastic and stuff. <laughs> it's so cool. I love um, that he lets us into his mind and stuff with um, the things he designs. And I wonder like what his inspirations are and everything. So yeah, go visit all his sites. And I wanted to also talk about, you know, that piece that I showed earlier. Um, he has, he, there was this girl, Emily Stabel, or Stable, I'm not sure how to say it, sorry, Emily, <laughs> or Emily Stabel, maybe she's French, I'm not sure. So um, she took one of his drawings, The Journey, oh no, I think the drawing was called Stability, yeah, and, hey, <laughs> and she, huh? She's going to lay down, sorry. Okay. It's okay. And, sh and uh, she made it into a 3D model, so she took every single element and modeled it and textured it in a really, really graphic way and put it into this, um, here, how do we look at it? Here, she put it into this 3D model and it's incredible. It's one of the most beautiful like interpretations of an illustration into 3D that I've ever seen. Like sometimes people make um, a model out of a drawing, but in their own style or like in a 3D style. I don't, 3D style doesn't really mean anything, but like I've never seen a 3D model look so illustrative and I feel like she did an amazing job of this and I hope that people get inspired by this and like what I wish is that they could make a game together or something because this is just so beautiful um, and it's like a treat to look at because it, she paid so much attention to the texture, um, to what he wanted to get across with the image itself and it's just really really incredible like she put so much work into this she said it took a little longer than a year and she also recorded so much of the process that um, look she's showing us here on her blog like all the individual pieces well not all of them maybe but a lot of them what they look like and she even has like you know the textures and everything for you to look at and understand and like learn about how she did it so <laughs> I find that really beautiful and there's this article about the making of it where she shows you the models and then what she went through with um, there was like projection for the textures and then she repainted them so that they look so that they look um, you know here she says she the projection makes a rough guide and then she continues painting so that like she fixes it to, so that it looks proper when you rotate the model and stuff and I love it. I find it so fascinating like that she, she just figured out this whole system to make this work as a sculpture. So anyways, I find that a beautiful, like, not necessarily collaboration because they worked apart, but it's such a nice thing to have, uh, an illustration interpreted this way. Anyways, um, yeah, I hope you like Sam's work. I find him really, really inspiring and he has so much to offer with what he does. Like I said, go support him and buy his stuff. His stuff is just like really beautiful and fantastic and like it's just oh like a he has like a world of his own that he puts into his stuff so yeah i hope you like it let me know what you think and bye have a nice day